Hi, this is Ali Arango of Little Guy CGI, and in this video, I would like to show you how to add hair and change eye color while using the Manuel Bastoni add-on. So let's get started. Okay, if this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, go to Input, and then choose Select with Left Click. Blender's default select is with Right Click, and this may confuse you if you're coming from Adobe programs or other 3D programs. Also, while you're in here, click on add-ons and then put a check mark next to 3D view colon 3D navigation. In a previous tutorial, I showed some of the basic uses of the Manuel Bastoni add-on. What that add-on is, is it is an add-on that brings humanoid characters that you can customize into Blender, it also those, those characters also have rigs to them. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to download that add-on, as well as how to install that add-on into Blender. I'll put a link up here so you can get to that tutorial. That tutorial was done on version 1.6. Now, that uh, version was spectacular. There was one thing missing though, and that was it was missing an easy way to put hair onto your characters. Now, since that tutorial, version 1.61 has come out. That's what this tutorial today is gonna to be on. Uh, this is gonna be a fairly quick tutorial. I mainly wanna show you how to add hair to your character as well as how to change your character's eye color. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is with our cube selected on, you can tell the cube is selected because it will be highlighted orange. We're gonna press X to bring up our delete menu, then choose delete. And now with the uh, Manuel Bastoni add-on, so if you followed the other tutorial, you'll see over to your left, all the way on the bottom of your tabs, you'll see the uh, tab for the Manuel Bastoni add-on. I'm gonna hover on this edge here, which brings up these two arrows. I'm gonna left click and drag this to the side just so we can see more space for our options here. There's uh, an option for use inverse kinematic. I'm gonna put a check mark there. There's also an option for use basic muscles. I'm gonna put a check mark there. This basically deals with rigging as well as uh, for working with uh, having your characters do animation. This right here, and again, the other tutorial goes over, to the, goes over this more in depth. Uh, this will make us go from the blender render right into cycles. This also will set up lights for us. So what we wanna do now is I am going to click initiate character. So I'm just left clicking there. Now we can see our character right here. I'm gonna hover my mouse here, hold shift. While holding shift, I'm gonna press B. I'm then gonna left click and drag this box, which is a zoom box I call. I'm now gonna hold the middle mouse button to rotate and we can see our character right here. Okay, when we look to our left, see where it says character library? I'm gonna left click here. When we see types, if we click on one of these uh, triangles here, we have these uh, presets here. Okay, to our left, underneath character library, we see this option that says types. I'm gonna left click on one of the two triangles there and you can see all these presets right here. I'm gonna go down to type underscore hourglass zero one. I like to click this for my uh, female character. So I'm gonna just left click on that. And now you can see our the shape of our character changed a little. Now, as far as our eye color, what we wanna do is look to the button that says skin editor. When you look to the left, you'll see a little plus button i'm going to left click on there and now we have these different options available to us and amongst these options uh we'll use settings that will allow us to be able to change our eye color okay to be able to change our eye color we need to see what we're doing so what we're going to do is i'm going to hover my mouse here around here i'm going to hold shift press b then draw a zoom box to zoom in so now we have our character zoomed in close to its face. Now we wanna set up the camera uh, right to this view. And we can do that easily by going to view, align view, and then going to align active camera to view. So we're gonna left click. 
and now our camera is set up on this current view so now we are in a good position to be able to see what's going on as far as the color of our eyes okay we can get to our render settings by clicking on the button it's all the way to the left it looks like a camera if we look down underneath our render tab see where this says device CPU if your graphic uh, processor supports it you'll be able to left click here and then select GPU compute this just makes it so that your render speeds will be faster okay so what we want to do here is we want to hold shift and then press Z now when we did that we went into this render mode here and we can see our our eyes However, the computer is taking a certain amount of power to render everything that's in the camera view here. What we want to do is I'm going to look down in my render tab to sampling and I want this to be clear so it's easier to see what's going on as far as our eye color. So we want to focus where we see preview here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to take this up to 250. And what you'll see is when you look here as uh, my computer basically goes up to this uh, preview sample size our image gets clearer and clearer however this will take this can take a while if you're trying to basically render everything that is currently in view right here what we can do is we can make blender basically focus right on our eyes or in eye to make our rendering speed faster and make the load easier you know for our computer to deal with so I'm gonna hover here uh, and then I'm gonna hold shift and then while holding shift I'm gonna press B now typically we had pressed or before previously we press uh, shift B and we zoomed in on our character since we're in the camera view when we press shift B and then we draw a box this makes blender focus on just what's inside of that box so I'm just dragging this box right around this eye here then I'm gonna let go and now you can see that we're focused just on this eye right here and when you look up here my computer is rendering a lot faster because it only has to deal with just uh, rendering this little section here rather than everything that's in the camera view so what we're gonna do is roll the mouse to zoom in I'm gonna hold shift in the middle mouse button to pan I'm gonna roll the mouse to zoom in more like that Okay, as far as changing our eye color, these settings right here, our eye hue, our eyes saturation, as well as our eyes value, will allow us to change the color of our eye. I'm going to go to eyes saturation, and I'm gonna set this for one. So the setting looks like 1.00. I'm gonna go to eyes value, set this to one, then press enter. That also looks like 1.00. And I did that because I like to just basically focus on one value as far as changing the eye color. So suppose I want this, this uh, eye to be brown. If I left click here and then uh, enter 0.12, then press enter. This gives us a brown, uh, a brown eye, eye color. If I want to have uh, green eyes, I can left click here and then put in 0.24 and then press enter so now we have a uh, you know green eyes for purple eyes if we click here and enter one now we have purple eyes if we want blue eyes we can left click here again and then put in 0.65 and then enter and now we have blue eyes Okay, I'm sure if you work with these values, you can find ways to get, you know, uh, your eyes to change other colors. Those are the ones that I found that I thought would be uh, useful to you. While we're here, these settings here will allow you to actually change your skin color. And what we can do is if we look just to skin hue, we can change our skin color. Now, as far as making our skin color, color lighter and darker, when we look for a skin complexion, the higher this number goes up, 
our skin will get darker. The lower this value goes down, our skin will get lighter. As far as the skin hue, what's interesting about this kind of skin color is this lets you have skin colors like uh, blue as well as green. For instance, if we want our skin color to be green, we can look to uh, the skin hue and then put in 0.65 and then enter. And now you can see we have green skin color right there. If we want our skin color to be blue, we can click here and then enter 0 0.02 and then press enter. Now we have blue skin. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, while we're here, this is pretty cool. If we want to make our character's skin color darker, if we take this number up where we see skin complexion, if we take this number up, our skin will get darker. If we take this number down, our skin will get lighter. As far as non-human skin colors, when we look to the skin hue, this will allow us to change our skin colors uh, to some pretty cool colors. So if we wanted to make our skin green, we can left click here and then enter in 0.65 and then press enter. And then our character will have green skin. If we want to make our character have blue screen skin, we can left click here and then enter in 0 0.02 and then press enter. And now our character has blue skin. If we want to go back to our default skin color, I'm going to left click here and then enter in 0 0.5 and then enter. And now we're back to our character's default skin color. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. So how do we make Blender not just focus right here on our eye? All we do is move our mouse outside of where we see our camera. We hold shift, we press B, we draw a box outside here, and now Blender will render again whatever is inside of our camera. Okay, I'm gonna hold shift and press Z so we can come out of render mode. I'm gonna roll the mouse wheel back. I'm gonna press the N key. I'm then gonna select lock camera to view and I'm gonna zoom back like this. I'm then gonna uncheck lock camera to view. I'm then gonna press N to take away the uh, properties panel there. I'm gonna hold the middle mouse button to come out of camera view. I set up that camera just in case we wanted to use the camera as far as like that limited rendering mode. Uh, we probably won't, but that's why I went into the properties uh, panel and you know, moved the camera some. Okay, let me show you how to add hair, which is the coolest thing with this update. So what we want to do is we want to look to finalize tools. So I'm going to left click on there. And uh, we have these options here. I'm going to take away this check mark next to save images and backup character. I'm then going to left click on finalize. So when you click finalize, we're still going to have other options available to us. When I see finalize, that's what it makes me think like, oh, we won't have any options. You know, what's going on? No, we'll still have the options available to us. And amongst those options will be the option to add hair to this character. So Blender is working. Okay, there we go. Okay, when we look over to our, our left, I'm just going to scroll up here. Underneath our after creation tools, we see assets. If you don't see uh, a section that says assets library, just click on a little button to the left. And then when we click on uh, one of these two triangles here, we have these options for different types of hair. We do not have a lot of options. However, just to have the ability to have hair is great. So I'm going to select hair 01 underscore human underscore female. So I'm going to left click on that. After I left clicked on that, now I have to look to where we see load element from library. So I'm going to left click on that. And now we can see our hair here. Now I'm going to hold the middle mouse button. Sometimes our hair is off centered for whatever reason. Uh, we can deal with this pretty easily. I'm going to 
with the hair clicked on, I'm going to look to where we see pose mode. I'm going to left click, then select object mode. When I zoom back, you can see that even though I'm selected on the, okay, there we go. Even though I'm selected on the hair, our manipulator is down here. So what we can do is go to object, go up to transform, go to our right, and then go to origin two geometry. So I'm going to left click there. And now our manipulator is right uh, set up to make it easier for us to move our hair. Okay, now I'm going to hover my mouse here. I'm going to hold shift and press B, then draw a zoom box right here. Sometimes our hair isn't fully on. So if I, when I hold them in a mouse button, you can see like the hair is going forward. That's pretty easy to deal with. We'll just take our manipulator, left click and drag this back. drug that back a little more and now our hair is in place. I'm going to hold control as well as hold the middle mouse button and then push my mouse up. Now I'm going to hold shift and then press Z so we go into rendered mode. And now you can see here is our hair and uh, it is nice looking hair. I, I think they did an excellent job. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button that turns so you can get a front and side uh, view of the hair. I'll turn, I'll hold them in a mouse button so you can see the side. And uh, yeah, this is great that uh, this hair is available to us now. Okay, one thing with this add on, there are actually uh, a bunch of other new things that are available with this add on. The main things I showed you was just the, the hair, as well as the eye colors, as well as the skin colors, or those were the things I showed you. So yeah, uh, if you guys find out any other cool things with this add-on, please let me know. I actually found out that this add-on had updated from someone in the uh, comments board, so thank you very much for that. Okay guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel and we share them, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel, you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.